Hello everyone and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked in the video or what else you would like me to cover. Today I'm going to cover setting up PHP IPAM subnets and show how to scan a subnet from within PHP IPAM. Please note that I'm using Rocky Linux 9.2 with PHP IPAM version 1.5.3. First, let's make sure we have a few settings enabled under the Administration tab. In the PHP IPAM settings, we need to make sure that the Resolve DNS names is on. And then under ICMP settings, that we have one of these three selected. Uh, I use FPing. FPing needs to be installed and needs to be Point and PHP IPAM needs to be pointed to the correct directory and file. Next, we would hit save, and then we'd go back up. And in, resolve, in order to resolve DNS names, we need to have name servers set up as well. And as you can see here, I've already set up our name server. So the set is, in my case, the techguysguide.local. It could be ABC. This is my DNS server right here. And then you're going to select the one of these sections where this DNS server set can show up. In my case, it's customers. And you would hit edit to save. Next, we would go to sections and customers. And then in here, we would add a subnet. Now, in my case, the subnet I want to use is 10.25.70.0 slash 25. That's CIDR notation for uh, a 128 subnet. Next, I want to add a description, the tech guy's guide. Next, I want to put in a VLAN. And in my case, right, it, this is what the it would look like. I've already created one called the Tech Guys Guide. Next, that name server goes here. I want to change my subnet to my folder, which is over here. And I'll do another video that probably goes through that goes through what each of these are and why it's significant. Next, you want to check on the host status. You want to look at discovering new hosts and finally resolving DNS names. Now this agent here represents the FPing that we selected under SM ICMP earlier. And then finally show his name. Um, we can do that as this or but it would need to be significant. So for now I'm, I want the IP address. I'm going to hit add. Right and so there it is. So we can now click in here and we're going to go through a few of the buttons and whatnot. So the space map, this shows what all the different spaces are and what's available. The mass search, right, shows you the subnet's usable IP range, what the permissions are for read and write, for and for which groups, NAT we're not using, location we're not using, and change log shows. Next, we can actually edit this again, should we need to. So maybe we do want to show the, our name, right? So then if we go back here, right, it'll show up as with that. And um, but let's turn that off for right now. Um, some of the next things we can add is nested. So like if we wanted to further break down this, so go to like a slash 27, then we could show additional subnets under here. Uh, we don't, we're not using, we can set the subnet permissions and change guests and operators to have different items there. Um, we're not using IP6. We can add this to the favorites, which show up when we log in, look at the change log. And then finally, we can scan the subnet for new hosts. Now, if I do a discovery scan right now, it's going to say system failure. The reason for that is because, unfortunately, 
my SE Linux is set to be uh, enforcing and I need to make that non-enforcing. I need to make it permissive on my particular version of Linux here and other versions of Linux have the same problem. So in my case, if I make this permissive, let's see what happens. Now I need to reboot. Let's wait a few seconds and let's see. I should come up in a moment here. Okay, looks like we're back up and running. So now if I do a scan for host and let's do debug, it works. So we want to add discovered hosts. And now we can see that we have on our visual subnet display here, we have something's at one, something's at five. And also DNS is working because these are in our DNS server. Um, not all of them are, so they're going to show up as a blank. Let's say I know what 15 is. I can go over here, bring up 15, and I know this is PHP uh, IPAM 2 test. I can create a description of some sort. I can also say that it's a gateway, which it's not. I can also say to ping exclude it so it won't be used for status checks. I can say what the customer is, the location, what kind of device it is, and if it's a unique host name. In my case, it's not. And as you can see, there's all of these items. Uh, if I go up here to the mass search, it's the same thing, but a little bit more condensed view. And well, that's pretty much it for PHP IPAM and subnets and setting up a scan. So uh, as always, uh, please like and subscribe. Add some comments if you think this video is good, hopefully. Um, and let me know what you liked or obviously what you didn't like. Again, thank you for watching the video. Have a great day.